your style. Sweetheart. A headless knight and a horse demon. It's giving off a ton of malevolence. This must be the true survivor of the venomization process. Oh, I get it. The dying exorcist lady wasn't saying headless knight is back. She was going for headless knight on horseback. Whatever the case, we'll fight whoever we have to to claim this island. Now I can't help but wonder how the horse is known. Get close and look if you're that curious. That's venomization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon? Not you. <laughs> the demon from the villa? No, look! It's absorbing the malevolence. It's Aetherian. Actually, that hawk is Griffin, my one and only friend. <laughs> A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, why do you have a Therian? It's like I said, Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape. What are you plotting? <sighs> I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say my itch, over my studies in service of the state. Uh. Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, 
He turned out to be responsive to Inominat's power. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The Kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the Exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the Exorcist and killed him. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead Exorcist. But with Etherian removed, Malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet... I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness... He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? That's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. That's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah, but then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? Mm. All right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? A most interesting interpretation. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm... Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean Midrith, which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Porges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Get drunk. <laughs> Just try not to go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helavis, tried to assassinate a shepherd. I Pardon me if I don't stop and count. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa, to me, they're both connected. I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19.
You got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm. Where angels fear to tread, as they say? <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogilu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? You are, Eleanor. Kamoana's worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Ah, uh, indeed. She may be Ethereum now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians. Even the Malachim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. Mm. I was so clueless. I didn't know what Demon Blight really was, nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. 
They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. <sighs> I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamoana I'm alright. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. <sighs> Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamoana and Lafisa would worry. That's all. I have something to say. There's something I've been hiding, until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. I was to watch over the Malik Lafiset and bring him to Abbey Headquarters. So vital was the mission, I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Laffy said. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorius? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorius. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision, so... I will help you protect the Therians... ...until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor! I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of, and to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Don't equate us. To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah, after all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor, so who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, but accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try out. Alright, let's go. Laffy said, I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me, I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Lafayette. 
I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? What are you doing here, Bianfu? I was hoping you'd let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. Bien! Madame Eleanor is a mealy head! She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. We're here. What now? Well, so I've been thinking about Earth Pulse points. They're where the flow of the Earth Pulse, the Earth's natural forces, are concentrated. Right. And Inominat is using those points to acquire malevolence and reawaken himself. You seem to have a knack for sensing them out. Once you're close enough, you can even pinpoint their location. Except, I don't have to be close at all. When we came here yesterday, I felt another place. A place just like this. Are you saying you can use this Earth Pulse Point as a conduit to find the others? I think so. I don't know how far it works, and I can't say if Ethereum will be on the other end. Still, it'll give us something real to go on. Please, give it a try. Okay. Anything? Yes, I felt it. There are dozens of Earth Pulse points scattered around, but I sensed a few big ones that stood out. So you can even detect their size? Yeah, at least I think I can. This island is one of the big ones. There are two more like it somewhere to the east and the southeast. But I think those are the Warg Forest and the Temple of Palamedes. Still... That suggests we're more likely to find Therians at the larger Earth Pulse points. We've got three Therians to go. Anything that helps us narrow down our choices is a boon. Yeah, you've done great work today, Lafayette. That's for sure. Thank goodness you're here. You're a marvel. One of the wonders of the world, kiddo. It's not that big of a deal, really. Hmm. Then let's go Therian hunting. 
We have an honest to goodness lead. Or dishonest to badness in our case. Broke again. Still not good enough. You think it's your swords that are weak? You don't think maybe your body's just stupid tough? No. If it can't cut me, it's just not good enough. I need stronger materials to make a better sword. I'd love to try Oracalcum, but getting that stuff is next to impossible. Oracalcum. That's the strongest metal in the world, right? A rare metal that's only been found in ancient ruins, and seldom at that. I've seen fragments of the metal myself, but I've never even heard of a piece large enough to forge into a weapon. I have. I heard a rumor that a block of Oracalcum was discovered in an ancient ruin some 200 years ago. Unfortunately, the boat carrying it sank in a storm. From the depths of the earth to the depths of the sea. A sunken ship. Treasure at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that would stir any sailor's heart. If we knew where to find it, could it be salvaged? The ship's crew drowned, so nobody knows where she sank. Besides, it's a centuries-old rumor. Who's to say it's even true? Right. <laughs> no sense in wishing for what can't be gotten. I'm sure there's other material you can use. <laughs> even Dial makes a good point sometimes. Hey, what do you mean, even Dial? Even Dial's getting angry! Saying it like that's just weird, Kamoana. Even Kamoana's getting weird! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our target is an Earth Pulse point about as big as the one here. Let's start with the closest one and go from there. Which way is it? The closest one is to the west. Got it. Lead the way, Lafayette. My pleasure. <laughs> 